All right, so this is my mega sorter. I don't know for sure that this is the largest sorter and storage ever made in Astroneer, but it's the biggest one I've seen. So let me know if you've seen a bigger one, because as I'll explain later, this is actually expandable into even larger. But uh, let me take a look around here, and then uh, I'll feed some stuff through it, and we can watch it work. So basic design, you've got five canisters for every resource. Uh, large canisters, so that would be about 2,000 storage per resource. Um, gas canisters, you have five towers of them, uh, so that ends up being about 9,600 gas. Um, and in total here, we were using about 160 total large canisters and about 360 total gas canisters. And then all the way around the outside, here's the input way over there. Uh, and then you've got this sorting line, which goes all the way around this whole thing and then at the end you've got an overflow for anything that didn't get sorted and then in the middle here these are the output canisters this is where i would connect you know like a small silo or another large canister and siphon some of this off to go craft with or whatever uh, so let's go take a look at the input area we'll get this running uh, and then we'll watch it flow through here So input area is just recessed in the ground so you can drive a rover onto it if you want to have your uh, rover storage pulled into the sorter. Uh, but on this I just have a bunch of different stuff. You can see everything. There's there's items that don't fit in canisters, there's gases, there's uh, un, unsmelted items, there's smelted items, um, and then in particular I have a bunch of quartz and organic because that's going to matter. Uh, but it's basically just a smorgasbord of everything. So let's put this on here. And then, uh, and then I'll hit this button, and it'll just turn these four arms on and start loading it up. So let me get back in this so we can watch. So the reason I have everything elevated on these platforms for the sorting line is because auto arms can put stuff up high, and they can reach up high, but they can't reach low. So all these platforms that have auto arms on them, these auto arms you can walk right underneath, and they won't be able to put stuff in your inventory, which is really nice if you're just walking around the back. Uh, but so what we got here right in the beginning uh, is we have a little bit of a splitter. So we've got two arms here for quartz and for organic. And then we have another arm for everything. And 50% of the time, these quartz and organic arms are on, and 50% of the time, they're not. When they're on, like when this quartz... Uh, oh, that one got skipped. Um, when the next one comes in, it's going to go over here to this platform, and it's going to skip the smelter. So that's how some quartz and some organic will store themselves without being smelted. Everything else, including the smeltable and non-smeltable items, go onto this platform, uh, which is connected to these smelters. So if it's smeltable, it'll get smelted, and then it'll get pulled off when it's done. Uh, and then if we go over here, you can see sort of the basic layout. You have an arm down at the bottom for each resource that pulls them into these first canisters. The platform in front of that arm, yeah, you can see it work. The storage uh, platform in front of that arm is a holding area, and if it isn't a match for that resource, after a short delay, the next arm will take it and move it along. So basically, the way this works is a storage sensor, a count sensor set to one, and then a delay sensor. The count sensor activates both the arm, which actually deactivates the arm and activates the delay sensor, which reactivates the arm. So it gives it just a second for these ones down here to pick it up before the arms on the line keep it going down the line. And you can see as it moves along, if it's not a match, nothing happens. If it is a match, let's see out a bit, let's start watching some of this, uh, it'll just pull it down into its respective set of canisters. Now, the canisters are a little bit tricky. I'm gonna go over here actually and show you. There's a pretty common design for sorters, and I didn't like this design. And I'm going to just show you how it works so I can show you why I didn't like it. So this is the basic design. If you have a platform with canisters on them, and these canisters are set to input, then if you put stuff on, and there's space in a canister for it, it'll just get sucked up. And if there's not space, it'll wait here, and then you can put another auto arm, and it'll come over here, do the same thing on another platform. This works fine, except for these canisters have to be set to input, which means, one, you have to take them off the, the platform to use them and output stuff and take stuff out of them, and that's a big pain. But number two, uh, you can only fit three, platform, three, three canisters. There's another way to take stuff out of this canister and move it into another one that's behind it or anything, because they're set to input. So it's kind of a thing I don't like. So the way I got around this with my sets of four, is all my canisters are set to output, except for the ones in the very front. But all of these four are set to output. 
And the first auto arm down here, this auto arm reaches into these first two canisters and it'll drop stuff off there. And then you can see these diagonal arms in between each row. These ones will reach from the back two canisters and put it into the front two canisters. And then the front auto arm will reach from the front two and put it into the output canister. So that's how I get away from this. And the reason that it makes it scalable is I can just put another set of four canisters right behind, move this whole line over, and put another one. And then I could have eight canisters um, of storage plus the output canister for every resource. So this is the way I made it larger than just three canisters per resource. Um, and this is this is how it goes. So it's just sorting around. I put the dynamite over on this far side just in case anything catastrophic happens. But it does sort dynamite. It sorts everything. Um, and with the gas ones, it's even a little trickier because they're just all over the place. So there's actually four arms, two on each side at the diagonal. And they're moving stuff from the back sections to the front section. So it all works out. And you can see things here moving along. Moving along, this is plastic, so it'll be way at the end. And as it gets there, we'll just watch it work. And there it goes. You can see it gets grabbed, gets put in. Diagonal arm grabs it, moves it forward. Last arm grabs it, moves it forward. So this will fill from front to back, so you can have a, an extra amount of things if you want, um, but you don't have to. That oh, was a little crooked. I'll have to fix that. Uh, but that is my mega sorter. Let me know what you think.